Nobody owes me anything. Reality said it's a friend of death, as death smiled then laughed. Said that I look nice with an AK. Not afraid to shoot and death isn't joking. And they can get me up and squeal, get me up and feel. Where are my demons? Keeping me running, howling at the moon. I keep quiet, so trust is built. They tell me secrets. Thought I was broke in a joke. Plus if they think they're hot, might be a bit longer than those demons screaming, kill them now. Causal owns them. There's a certain affinity in living life that has value. Looing around non-living, lurking around on Earth's surface. Thrusting notions of venting of unlived dreams, making souls cheaper. Saints of Narcissus, bishops of junkies, enablers of common. Dialogues of fevered intemperate desires where their scene ends in a divine death. But their scene ends in a divine death. I prefer martyrdom, a slick labyrinth in life's existence. I am alive, elastic band, come and go, of anything. It's just that I'm scared. I'm a faint perfume with others. Violet ambers over fragile skin, everything said in the eyes, kept there as gatekeepers. A stream of wisdom in the modern sense, ancient wisdom for later on. My innermost trembling thoughts will be kept inside, and perhaps over time spread over my journal entries. Eternity doesn't scare me, though those prolonged feelings will. Yawning for a long time. But if I lived in forever, I could change the amount of the regret. Mausoleum before the moon. Knowledge could penetrate my internal life instead of being a murmur. Always. Being a murmur. Always feel like I'm at the beginning. Each moment, it's like another morning, I'm like I'm just waking. A shiver in the dark. Blocked inside, where I embrace. Up. Like I'm about to die, allowing the thought of forever to be cut away with rusty edges. Bracing the broken pieces, cutting down and starting from scratch. Heartbreak rendering to a no colour form. I'm getting sunburnt over time, scared. Oh how I hate so many people, to them. It's another problem for another, a tragedy story is popular. I screamed out for someone to help but they all walked away. The poor could always be finer. I breathe so I've been blessed with a life. It's kind of hard to accept knowing I've nothing but curses. I wish I could be with a girl who stops speaking. That way I'll have the drive to stop and breathe. But if you go far enough, you'll see them inside, their internal lives and selfishness. As I form from ashes, watching me dreaming, exploring my conscious, holding it to the sky with a little whimper as the devil places his hand on my shoulder, creating art, putting something into forming physical memory, left aesthetically pleasing for culture. I breathe in something. I am a brittle straw in a larger sphere, drifting to faint. Isn't it rare to touch innocence? Why I want immortality, common and normality, relaxed philosophies. Perhaps my emotions have ended up in the wrong body, which produces all the void, or maybe this planet is wrong and Elon is a messiah. Now I'm patient and heavy. Well, I want to move forward now. I'm drenched in mist and I'm lost wanting to connect, in particular to another. But I'm fully misunderstood, so now I disconnect, misunderstanding others. It's extinguished the sun. There is nothing worse about meeting the right person at such a wrong time. Home and away, I rationalize. When I come out the wrong, I can't always be the victim. To the devil, there are a couple of people I love so dearly, but yet I...
I'm nowhere near them. The meaning of it, I want to alter, I want to altercate with fate that has been laid out before me without me knowing it. Leaving behind a rhymeless poem. With the moon rising, the occult comes, the night fills the sky, I get kissed and feel more at ease. My handle comes out. I love my babe. I want to be drinking at the parlour with higher powers. If they're going to, I'll let them rub salt over any of my wounds. Even if it's burning with tension. Today wisdom is spoken, leaves me bewildered. It goes beyond a foreign tongue, it's utterly alien. I'm off to the side, glaring with a fascinating look like I was virgin and looking at the nude body for the first time. As for the gods of culture, they can bleach the words of Shakespeare any day. Final and at will. When in serene passages of monotony action, it's time to self-reflect. Even it's hardly enormous time of life to remember. In a hopeless, uncivilised situation of a manner, it's easy to repress. Salvation is a maybe, possibly later, after death. I want it now. The devil concerns his emotions over mine. Social centres of the world change from generation to generation. Never attached while alive in modern times. It's both quiet and loud. Trends overlook nude bodies barring all. Muses with diplomatic status, looming death. Wandering to find Eden. Melancholy, external, stillness, standing back, eyes blinking, looking, what was I thinking? A perpetual hum of horror. A small beginning like a toothache of murmuring anxiety. Subjects of folk songs, images of the past, reasons to sell your soul. A never drama without delay. Falling victim to hopeless illusion as, under, as I undergo mindless turmoils of emotional warfare. A poem, a whisper to the sky, puzzled butterflies. A thousand peering faces, smiling. Weeping eyes crying onto rusty metal knives made for war. There's 25 to life if the judge doesn't like. Told him I was raised wrong, that's why I blaze in anger because I don't know how to correct myself as I look back on myself with shame. A stellar of exhilaration of waving in emotions, blocking logic and rational thinking. A perfect mix of driving youthful ideals with an intensity of poetic intensity. Arousing an allure of romance, like a prophet for poetry and it's intoxicating. A bottle of wine, an apple was sitting on paper that had ancient wisdom displayed with black text written over white paper. But it's an affair from reality, derailment of vivid thinking, feeling like a mythical creature written from a novel authored by a mystic. A person formulating their own fate as a terrorist to life itself and everyone resents them. I just wanted my heart to emerge like a warm summer's night. Little did I know not everyone can rise up and match to the persona one wanted to be. I saw her bright eyes, I counted her eyelashes, dreaming, start constellations. The moment of meeting is the first meeting of upcoming sadness. A gleaming space over landscape enduring till the end. Washed by the open sky, clear and unaccompanied by beams of sun, land of sunflowers with strawberries sloping down from a near green hill. Interesting patterns for images of colours in paintings tilting towards magic. Officially ordinance any other moment as boring. Till what I want live outside poetry without compromise. An unmistakable gloat. Conjure up a romantic moment to display everywhere that I could. Moving forward to keep myself to myself. A disquieting time. A poem of a ziverous contributing to people's once wild desire. The search of love is a spoiled... The spoiled thought of being alone, a luxurious backstep. Installing earthly reminders that it's unfair. Like owning an image in dark where I wasn't put back, but birth there where I sit and dwell, governing words instead of manipulating words to compensate moments in reality. 
Reading books to pass the time, jealous of fictional characters, yearning in absurding, no romance in the noon red rose naked lunch. Where myself and a priest talk, once I had confessed my sins. A length of breath. I had watched a woman's beauty from afar once the poetry of her flesh caught my attention, wondering what she's like when she's conversing with another, soft and vulnerable, brave and leading. I often think of her scent, most of her, to know her wisdom's teachings to me, whether it be small gems or large wits, booming with explosions within my soul, making my private world public. Candid within myself, just never with another, shyness is not a burden but a price to pay when wanting to be original. It's not the core of my beliefs or no Buddhist stanza providing answers where my suffering starts, or my yearning to be held and told that I love is that I'm suffering thunder. But at least at one point must let go at one point, being kind in the meantime, we're all going to die. A culture to rely on is something shared. I want to be lost in Milton's paradise. You deserve to be blamed for ignorance when you dive into an ideology and attach yourself to it. Question the person you know as a paradox, full of contradictions and nothing else. For learning of letting go is living with loss and be happy with thy mind. Perhaps it's in knowing that I want both love and the selling of the soul. I want to live... as any pain leaves blending with the wind going in past into the distance passing the horizon line a breathe a heartbeat a smile and forget the rest to what sequence of thoughts that are in play that leads to volunteered death of an individual a steady of various ones presenting oneself as justified in a hellish knowledge cannot uphold the philosophy of dualism for blame how to cope with an ordinary life a personal thought after a moment of reflection Ironing of personal revelations, stopping when it's time to put in work for revolution. Using my anxieties to write this, a poor effort to be literary godlike. I'll piss on someone soon. Loss gives reasons for matter of discovery, unbearable enough to argue with the rebel cause. It's too late, you're burnt in my memory. I was curious and kept all judgments to myself. Oh my gosh, how can I continue without you? Happiness is not found here, why can't it be? I tried something with fear. I was hoping this ride will lead to something better. Instead of say so, you held it in till it burst like a broken vessel flowing and covering the surface in a thick blood. Not everyone is as dramatic as I am. It's capsized now. Where I could have just slowed my pace down. But to you it's formed words with no emotional connection. Now I'm alone as you're centred by loved ones now. I got given one thing, didn't want to make it another. But I met you and was happy to be interchangeable. Don't you have any regrets? I left a legacy of lessons and something to, to hold on to. It's not what you said that hurt me, but the length of time you held on to it. I was viewed in a single light, though. No reassurances are needed now. Flaunt beauty, jasmine mixing in with honey, intertwining as a course of intercourse as dragon fireflies witness reading energy. The world turned as if it made a leap into some sort of holy... Some sort of holy leap. A hunger of new gods. There's your body here. That's the body here. The body. So the moment of the inception of the body, so the body is small, decayed into dust, that's where. That's okay. your identity. Okay. There's some problems with that, though. It has the same problems as all the other things. Yeah, there is. There's some problems. Some problems. But, you know, that's that. You know what? There ain't nothing in philosophy that doesn't have fucking gonna spend six years talking about it, get closer to each other's point of view. We still have to agree to disagree. You see this thing? You wanna do that there like that? I think this ride will lead to something better. Instead of say so, you held it in till it burst like a broken vessel flowing and covering the surface in a thick blood. Not everyone is as dramatic as I am. It's capsized now. Where I could have just slowed my pace down. 
But to you it's formed words with no emotional connection. Now I'm alone as you're centred by loved ones now. I got given one thing, didn't want to make it another. But I met you and was happy to be interchangeable. Don't you have any regrets? I left a legacy of lessons and something to, to hold on to. It's not what you said that hurt me, but the length of time you hold on to it. I was viewed in a single light, though. No reassurances are needed now. Flaunt beauty, jasmine mixing in with honey, intertwining as a course of intercourse as dragon fireflies witness reading energy. The world turned as if it made a leap into some sort of holy... Some sort of holy leap. A hunger of new gods. Not going into rehab for heroin. Unprotected sex birthing new generations. But it's a twitch in modern times. As the devil is my new best friend. Coming together from a blurred dream where I was high off pills. A halo of smoke providing a rustic old fashioned feel. The forefront dissolved into swirling smoke. Practicing philosophy in conversation. Trying to adjust the external to my feelings. Protesting when the two is in a line. No conversation. Trying to adjust the external to my feelings. No one is listening. Don't pity when I express a blank of innocent confusion. Privately I cry of mocking tears when I just want to sob violently. Using my whole eye, preferably my third. Nothing good or evil has a limit, but each person has a capacity to a point to do either. Being silent in complete fashion is one strong way to hear the truth. I have met so many people in this world, to which some I'm ever so grateful in saying hello to. No one can fully understand the complexity of life, at least as people out there we hate and resent. A purpose to dark arts alive. I would be in jail otherwise. But how can I write literary holiness in such a state? How can be someone when you keep turning the cheek to do something else? Or how can I be when there are no chances while you're smiling in such laughable models with another? It's hard to say, but your ears are listening to what you want to hear. With never more reasons to smile for you, I'm questioning the roads of redemption. I'll be a saint if I can't my grievances to myself. To mystical arts, praise Crowley. Let me embellish to what I reach to as I hate myself to what I do wrong. Give me immortality or knowledge of the end of times. Stern magician, what is your secrets? Pagan idols derived from formed living figures. I want, I want, I shall get it. I'll do more than cherish. I'll love beyond passionate lust. Love in hysteria. Kicking in the doors without a madness, cutting the thread of person's attention. Let them, wis let them witness as if they had seen a miracle for the first time. Because it's been cursed walking on salt over the road to heaven. Misery. But I'll be alone against humanity, not because I've been rejected. It is the price to pay for believing in grandiose dreams. For now, I shall swim in anxiety and conduct as if I suffer nothing from it. Seeds for later harvest. It's too late. It's now burned into my veins, mixing in with my veins. Fairly and firmly, accepting my place in the world, where my resentments still matter, because I'm the one feeling. Well, we put the new one in here. See? For this new yeah, but it's you know the same saddle mark. You tell me that every single one of them you're gonna find them. These ones you'll find the clip we've broken and that that way I'm off every single time, right? Almost every single time. It's actually rare that I've seen anything else broken but the clip we've on And this is always happening. Because of the way it's right on the caliper? That's the last time you put the brace on the same shot. So why wouldn't they just read? Arching my soul, where your smile is beyond my formality, etched into my essence, no longer hypnotized, now I'm slaving into our transcendental connection. Birthing holiness, heaven, and now everyone is local and common. As the soul on the road leading to you belongs to past, finally, could you be an angel? In poetry, it's a fierce mood of grace, a temper in daily moods, where poets had wild eagerness to experience it themselves. Where every moment we have, it's a distinct moment of romantics, Cupid hovering above us. Our very actions itself, poetry to the mundane, immeasurable lover, what will I do without you? Anxious, not in clingy. No idea how much it means to me to turn your head and simply smile. Where worlds beyond want to emulate. Culture-based. Where we're pagan gods, idols in culture. 
No one understands us, but they pay homage to us, raising marble statues in our image. In a haze of gold and glow, I stood still, letting the haze thin out. I shot it in a slow manner, right forward, a line of painters. Black hair hung lower than your shoulders, adjusting glasses, didn't take any notice. Your attention was a reward for redemption actions I took. Loyal to the growth of your individuality, wanting discovery of progress, loud in somber stance, never breaching contradiction, exceeding in laws of mere death, I became binded to say hello. Though the penalty of being different from others is a constant notice of wandering eyes thinking over your body movements, never asking for it, an invention of sophism. A delight of being strange. Love wanted, so love it be. I was too fearful of saying hello. I backed away from most culture, where they veil conformity with words like civilizing. Hypnotic and a choir of emotions felt inside. I looked inwards, oblique. Sure, I gave too much power away, like how the ocean gives crashing waves on the shoreline. It's my truth, to when I first saw you, binded to my attachment through my perspective. But lessons from falling leaves, we cannot hold what we create in our minds. You walked away into the golden haze, where it covered you up in the distance, gained from... Find the clip we've broken, and that, that way I'm off every single time, right? Almost as if it's actually rare that I've seen anything else broken, but the clip we've broken. And this is always happening. Yeah, always. Do you know why you broke this thing? Because of the way it's right on the calendar. That's the last time you can break it off with the same shit. Sitting in the dark where I once sat, know any poem written is to compensate for when out of your presence and who cares as the world reads and explores. Now I celebrate that I get to write about you. For those who envy, for they empty my soul of everything I love for them to keep. Our lips blistered for smiling at one another. To that blank feeling for the world, immortalised over art forms as philosophers wording answers. In a world providing vague looks and lost words left for within to carry around. Diversity, anything. While well, some practice politics over jasmine, rice and tea, death to a small group, as lovers distract themselves by tearing off torn sheets. Poets giving away freely from concepts without a sound and a ripple motion. May the diversing not be in reverse and pulled to the front for the perform highlight. The future may bring meaning, but clarity has nothing to do with it. Theatre is setting the tone, but culture will be richer in its efforts. It's slipping and it's dramatic nature, romantic in its allure, veiled over with its truth from the core, attractive like virgin untamed raw beauty, gods as homage to it, never forbidden, history will be drenched in it. No need to worry or spend this present moment in gloom, no future of being viral or fragile, but once it's done you'll be able to hear it like music, see it as a painting, but you will know it a defining moment not only for humanity, but something for the muses, gods, masters of culture, just changing our very ways. Don't try to visualise what will happen. It won't be to what one's imagination will bring in the forefront of the thought. Just imagine someone with so much wisdom they could bend the external to the wave of their thought at the pace of their heartbeat. Though selling vices to people will not cease, it will have something still of a gratifying sense of the near mastery of controlling a person who has free will. The ability to learn, change or to surrender in self-awareness and admitted in private moments to what they're doing. Different illumination. People want beef till they put up, till they puff out their chests with knives, guns, their minds holding secrets of others just willing to explode like suicide bombers. Creating worlds and new gods, they can get your turn into ashes till it's memory, then it's nothing eventually put in work. It's that real. A glimmer of silver silence once laid out bare over earth. They had been existing first. It's not a dose of, they give birth its definite form. Life is persuaded to be more than a difficult lover whose emotions is pressing upon burden, where its joy often leaves wordlessly, fighting for dominance, constructing moral structure of considerable talent, earning the battle to fame as something holy. Isn't this evident? As strange as it sounds, one cannot deny death's future victory, throwing anyone out of the course of normality. Dying is something liberating, going to someone beyond physical pain. As the world stops spinning, hurt will cease and stop prodding the prodding heart. I mean, don't you know you'll die? There is no other name I speak of when asked about who I give my unconditional love to. Isn't that a tragedy? Men love the beauty of women as women adore the innocence of children, as children are most interested in cartoons. And you cannot help those who see no problem. Let all poetry be fluid, as nobody wins. And just like that, the body dies in the same world as the heart is simply lit by fire love, packed with potent meaning, ascetic pictures, linked to the first gods. 
Probing the past and over now, construct the future, unravel everything. That wasn't a good idea. Why? Can't make money? You can't make money. It's capitalism. No, capitalism is a bad idea. You right? them. Capitalism is a bad idea. You know, capitalism is a bad idea. We are seeing it with the bail out of to my wish to publish my pockets of poetry where I written the secrets of others, warring within me to hurt them more than the pain inflicted on me. My reasoning to cause brings soothing to my very soul that's mine and belongs to me only. I want to make a clear blue water that I had kept my end to be opened and letting our compassion in my kind gesture to keep the peace between us. So when you suffer, the tickets are free as I am sitting at the front. Hail Satan. With precision like the melody played by the cello. I can picture the potential humiliation caused by my hands. Do not try to be sympathetic with me, it will not be accepted. The midnight moon still murmuring in prolonged echo across the day to turn it into night. Diverting all comfortable into sin. Your soul is payment for it to stop. The devil's pleasure is represented in many of human vices. Causing a sense of temporarily unreality moments of silhouette life knowing only by living in it. Bonding to me just a break. Life to hell as it continues with, to expand in size and width. Your domestic emotions do not belong to the outside world and you fail to confess to any muse of yours corrupting the land as you are. Now in potent actions you have an accurate, lonely yearning after I expose you. The rest will not care for you as they should. I don't know leaving behind poems is the best way to change anything, but at least you'll know how much I hated you. Game is game though. Take one for the team. Twitching of resentment and denial of accepting denial. Open palms declaring hidden intentions and nod in a public declaration that learning elegantly po poetic style of English is to draw attention of others' eyes into my world just to shame you. It's an intoxicating mixture of feelings of relief and continued grief. A blessing pressed upon an overwhelming hollow of a world filled with Nathan's nations made up of communities and individuals in varying societies. Amber eyes of contour existence. I yawn because I am tired and I sleep because I had enough. Well, I want to sleep. It's an extension of the flowing rhyming of musical flourishing of what's inside, like the back of my hand or my lips parting to take in world's wind. It's forming euphemisms knowing that you're breaking inside. There are so many people in the healing process and finding their true character that is going to a lot of people in the process. But life itself has its own soul and separate from us ruling reality that dictates to us. Dzieje apostolskie. Rozdział drugi. Kiedy nadszedł wreszcie dzień pięćdziesiątnicy, Znajdowali się wszyscy razem na tym samym miejscu. Nagle dał się słyszeć z nieba szum, jakby uderzenie gwałtownego wichru i napełnił cały dom, w którym przebywali. Ukazały się im też jakby języki ognia, które się rozdzielały. Poetry, more than a set of beautiful words. Celebrate the poets who experience love and live to write about them, testing the powers of the heart. The poems see through the eyes of the mind, ruling all culture, as language expressed and flowing toward and over all art forms, overthrowing any king over any nation, warming the essence of a queen's very being, battling between comedy and tragedy. To the trained artist is higher than art. The dreams had found me, knowing, knowing nothing else besides a lack of direction. So I'm now a dreamer. Like moments of history, nothing is better than modern times. There is no other way of thinking till it's obvious and another way is known. Trigger anything. No one wanted my words in daily conversation. No one wanted my pre presence. No one is here or there, and no one is treading the water to pull my drowning body. So I'm looking forward to something to give, and I'm now lost in this words for constant use. I'm looking for something to give, at least something publicly present to the world. Whether it's considered ugly or beautiful, but I'm caught between wanting to be touched and left alone to no isolation. Though the words, though the world rolls by a metaphysical trust, changing landscape. Within a clear cage, wanting the sun to burn it all out until it vapors into cosmo dust, repeating dark times. But I remain open-minded, eager to learn as I am towards something else—a fool's journey over an arch. But coming to the end of our journey, of a fling, a pang to the heart, but at least it has fuel, hatred, and poetry. Wishing that a genie was at the bottom of the bottle, bourbon, wishing it had never met you and used my time to give love to poetry. Mark my words, you'll fall in love when she needs you. Having your body glowing when floating in heaven, better choose carefully. I call her karma. Bell is heartless. If you get a chance to do so, break her heart, but she'll turn into the devil. It's a roller coaster, but you can't hit it and quit it. Play with magic without knowing what you're going for. 
There is no going back. Gentle winds turn to whirlwind. Assume it's the end. Holding the hand of an angel stirs the fire of the dwelling inside. Tak jak im duch pozwalał mówić. Przebywali wtedy w Jeruzalem pobożni Żydzi ze wszystkich narodów pod słońcem. Kiedy więc powstał ów szum, zbiegli się tłumnie i zdumieli, bo każdy słyszał, jak tamci przemawiali w jego własnym języku. Czyż ci wszyscy, którzy przemawiają, nie są Galilejczykami? Mówili pełni zdumienia i podziwu. Jakżeż więc ka- the fire of the dwelling inside of a man to explode. Must set fire to failure before lighting any consolation to a burning beauty. For poems written about these loves. For her own motherhood struck a mood of being dumbfounded where she would argue till those same constellations change colors. Now she's second guessing herself. A shattering of personal dreams is the first step to leave Neverland. But you can't cure them with kindness. As the witness confesses, the only way they saw is when to spilled out in their verbal venting of love, lost veils in over this lust for their own heart once so bad. For sheer luck one can go on with pain, but for life is if one suffers for it. It's words filled with poems. Shocking humans back to silence. A hopeless widow, a wanderer for love, a romance world without the experience, filling in poetry for culture that the rest share. We're in the faraway depths of the cosmos. It's what poetry is for. A collection of one's poetry known as an industrial diamond laid out over millennia. As readers await a familiar feeling, a word, a yearning for attention, a wanting of a touch just to be held and told that there's love as one is presenting themselves to not get close to me. It's hard for a poem to be a sudden little fluttering gesture that holds so much emotional weight. At times an expression of insolent difference, perhaps indestructive hate, a continued resentment. Poems for odes, paintings, music, visual arts and our dear Nightingale. A breaking bravado of emotional war, inspecting fashion to hide with. A chaos of discarded thoughts left behind where buying a pearl earring cannot simply replace. The mind is a domed sapphire destined to replace the poems left where we are clearly used for our own vain and living existence. The poem without regard. The words providing meaning to horror, to life, infuriating that it doesn't help. Gothic columns inside pyramids of past, puffing out entrails of purple-based color florally. Floor covered by Madonna lilies. Writing those provided a small warmth to one's heart, able to release such hate, to help ease such pain, cannot let it be. It must live forever to know one hates another. Starting off from primitive energy, running into spiritual riot, where now it no longer lingers, it's forever staying. That resentment is now here to live, where the remorse sitting quietly in the coming, destructing the poet a whimper of regret publicly showing one's bitterness. A marble noir for heartbreak, where the hearts, streets of Paris know all too well. Particular soft and tender jazz tones replace the sound of the wind. Two blondes on blue eyes, sunk cracked skin. Lived over a thousand years, just wanting to sit and rest. Hands touched everything, looking resolutely to the future. We're in hopes of dying now rather than continuing to live. But living in a large city, the crowds provide a certain anonymity. I wonder what the gods of the muses are thinking when they look down at us. Reality is the best form of drama where the arts cannot replace. It's all unrehearsed and wild was right, how imitate more than will openly agree. Draw in rising spectators to your words. Let them soak it all in, a stupor of emotions, no more in your embellishing dramatic moods. An inexorable motion. A cannabis habit can't fully med- meditate one's soul enough for the thoughts that have been triggered to be fully calm. Most want the security of the known. Poetry in images. Beauty anywhere. Love, tender romance. Dust in the wind. Femme. Fem. Fama. Fame. Hollow souls huddled together on broken glass. Rats bite to ed deep bodies. I've sold my soul to deaths expire behind earth. Do not love me, love poetry. Imagine meeting someone so beautiful that you instantly speak poetry.
Hollow souls huddled together on broken glass. Rats bite to eat dead bodies. I've sold my soul to death's empire behind earth. Poetry. As many times as you can. Poetry. 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 I want Dion Thomas to come back to life. I want Dylan Thomas to come back to life. I want Dylan Thomas to come back to life. The tears I cry are bitter with no shoulder to lean upon. I'm walking alone in exile. It's a fever. Stuffed in philosophy, alas, precise am rend. Fire, 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 colour turning to grey. Do not look into my soul, eyes I wish not to look into. Arching my soul, where your smile is beyond my formality, etched into my essence, no longer hypnotised, now I'm slaving into our transcendental connection, birthing holiness heaven and now everyone is local and common. As the soul on the road leading to you belongs to past, finally, could you be an angel? In poetry it's a fierce mood of grace, a temper in daily moods, where poets had wild eagerness to experience it themselves. Where every moment we have, it's a distinct moment of romantics, Cupid hovering above us. Our very actions itself, poetry to the mundane, immeasurable lover, what will I do without you? Anxious, nodding, clingy, no idea how much it means to me to turn your head and simply smile, where worlds beyond to want to emulate. Culture-based, where we're pagan gods, idols in culture. No one understands us, but they pay homage to us, raising marble statues in our image. In a haze of gold and glow, I stood still, letting the haze thin out, I shot it in a slow manner, right forward, a line of painters. Black hair hung lower than your shoulders, adjusting glasses, didn't take any notice. Your attention was a reward for redemption actions I took. Loyal to the growth of your individuality, wanting discovery of progress, loud in somber stance, never breaching contradiction, exceeding in laws of mere death, I became binded to say hello. Though the penalty of being different from others is a constant notice of wandering eyes thinking over your body movements, never asking for it, an invention of sophism, a delight of being strange, love wanted, so lover be. I was too fearful of saying hello. I backed away from most culture, where they veil conformity with words like civilizing. Hypnotic and a choir of emotions felt inside. I looked inwards, oblique. Sure, I gave too much power away, like how the ocean gives crashing waves on the shoreline. It's my truth to when I first saw you, binded to my attachment through my perspective. But lessons from falling leaves, we cannot hold what we create in our minds. You walked away into the golden haze, where it covered you up in the distance, gained from footsteps, the haze veiled over. But in future memories, I laid my head down. I heard your heart beat as your lungs went up and down. Our geography full of wonder landscape. You have your own world. For how blessed I am, I write what I know. Felt and experienced, which is love, and never forlorn words that I've never used in my everyday life. A sonnet of yearning love is only speculation of personally customising fantasy. Sitting in the dark where I once sat, now any poem written is to compensate for when out of your presence and who cares as the world reads and explores. Now I celebrate that I get to write about you. For those who envy, for they empty must all of everything I love for them to keep. Our lips blistered for smiling at one another. To that blank feeling for the world, immortalised over art forms as philosophers wording answers. In a world providing vague looks and lost words left for within to carry around. 
diversity, anything. Or some practice politics over jasmine, rice and tea, death to a small group, as lovers distract themselves by tearing off torn sheets. Poets giving away freely from concepts without a sound and a ripple motion. May the diversing not be in reverse and pulled to the front for the perform high-low. The future may bring meaning, but clarity has nothing to do with it. Theatre is setting the tone, but culture will be richer in its efforts. It's slipping in its dramatic nature, romantic in its allure, veiled over with its truth from the core, attractive like virgin untamed raw beauty, God's as homage to it, never forbidden. History will be drenched in it. No need to worry or spend this present moment in gloom. No future of being viral or fragile. But once it's done, you'll be able to hear it like music. See it as a painting, but you will know it a defining moment, not only for humanity, but something for the muses, gods, masters of culture, just changing our very ways. Don't try to visualise what will happen. It won't be to what one's imagination will bring in the forefront of the thought. Just imagine someone with so much wisdom, they could bend the external to the wave of their thought at the pace of their heartbeat. Though selling vices to people will not cease, it will have something still of a gratifying sense of the near mastery of controlling a person who has free will. The ability to learn, change or to surrender in self-awareness and admitted in private moments to what they're doing. Different illumination. People want beef till they put up, till they puff out their chests with knives, guns, their minds holding secrets of others just willing to explode like suicide bombers. Creating worlds and new gods, they can get your turn into ashes till it's memory then it's nothing eventually put in work. It's that real. A glimmer of silver silence once laid out bare over earth. They had been existing first. It's not a dose of, they give birth its definite form. Life is persuaded to be more than a difficult lover whose emotions is pressing upon burden, where its joy often leaves wordlessly, fighting for dominance, constructing moral structure of considerable talent, earning the battle to fame as something holy. Isn't this evident? As strange as it sounds, one cannot deny death's future victory, throwing anyone out of the course of normality. Dying is something liberating, going to someone beyond physical pain. As the world stops spinning, hurt will cease and stop prodding the prodding heart. I mean, don't you know you'll die? There is no other name I speak of when asked about who I give my unconditional love to. Isn't that a tragedy? Men love the beauty of women as women adore the innocence of children, as children are most interested in cartoons. And you cannot help those who see no problem. Let all poetry be fluid, as nobody wins. And just like that, the body dies in the same world as the heart is simply lit by fire love. Packed with potent meaning, ascetic pictures linked to the first gods. Probing the past and over the now, construct the future, unravel everything.